Since Persona 3 through 5 released on every platform imaginable, I thought I'd make videos about why you should play these games. And I'm gonna start with Persona 3. Alright, so Shin Megami Tensei is a series of words that will not be used in this video. Neither will I speak about Persona 1, Innocent Sin, or Eternal Punishment. Persona 3 is the game that basically defined the series going forward, so we're gonna start with that one. But first, I wanna talk about the series as a whole. The gameplay can be divided into two parts. One half is a dungeon crawler where you have to proceed through a randomly generated dungeon, fighting off shadows, collecting personas and advancing the story. The battles are turn-based and you have to utilize certain attacks against an enemy's weakness. These weaknesses are based on various elements, like fire, water, almighty. The persona you have equipped also has these weaknesses. And if your opponent exploits them, they can kill you quite easily. The goal in every battle is to down each enemy, so you can perform an all-out attack, which deals massive damage if not outright killing all enemies. After a battle in 3 and 4, you get to draw cards to determine if you get a persona, some money, or restore some HP. The other half is a social life simulator. You go to school, you get exams, you hang out with your friends, raise your bond with them, and experience their unique stories. But you also have to work on yourself, as in each game, your character has various stats he has to level up, like strength, charm, intelligence, his reddit karma. You have to level these stats up so you can talk to and unlock new social links. Social links are what I talked about earlier. They're the bonds you have with your friends and if you hang out with them, you get to see their personal story unravel. For example, in Persona 3, there's this little girl on a shrine which you can hang out with. Over the course of her story, you help her come to terms with her parents' divorce. Also, if you're hanging out with a female character, you can probably roam with them. See why these games are so beloved now? Alright, that's basically the gist of what you do in the game most of the time. These games run on a calendar system, meaning you live every day for around a year, and you have limited time to level up your personas, your character, as well as improving your social stats and leveling up some social links. There's also other stuff you can do. You can visit the velvet room where this friendly man awaits you. Here you can kill your personas to make new ones, or buy back the ones you killed. If you register them, if you didn't, my condolences. Pretty cool, right? Let's really get into the video, why you should play Persona 3. This is the first game in the series. It introduced all the cool social sim mechanics. It's the oldest one to date, and it shows! If you aren't lucky enough to own a PC or a functioning PS2, the only version you get to play is the portable version, at least for the PlayStation Portable. And this one's getting ported over to new consoles and the PC. Now don't get me wrong, this version is fine if you don't care about not having 3D environments, the epilogue to the story, and all the FES editions. The PSP is quite bad, and because of its hardware limitations, the game is a visual novel. The anime cutscenes have been replaced by Blender animations. Exploring the overworld is a point and click game you can play as a girl. Now, there are quite a lot of differences between a male MC and a MC playthrough. You can date guys, you, you can't do that as a guy, and for some reason, you cannot hang out with Junpei, Akihiko, Ken, Shinjiro. These are all party members of yours. The music is different, the UI is different, some interactions are changed, and there's something you can do as a girl, which I will not talk about, but there's something. Now, back to why this isn't the perfect version. There is a tradition for this series. Every game gets an enhanced re-release with more story events, a new ending, and other bonus stuff. These make the base version redundant. In Persona 3, this version was FES. It has some minor quality of life stuff and the answer epilogue, but we won't get into that. Our big challenge in Portable is that you can control your party members. Can't do that in FES, so uh, get them more current. But it doesn't matter, because the version 99% of people will get to play is Portable. Atlas chose to port that version, so you have to play portable either way. Except if you have a PC that's strong enough to emulate a PS2, you can play FES on it. And with half an hour of work, you can mod it, and then it's the best version of Persona 3 out there. You can install an HD mod to make everything look better, a controllable party mod to <laughs> make the gameplay better, and there's a FMC mod in the works too, so, you know. In the future, we might have to ultimate Persona 3. It's fine if you don't have a PC, you can just play portable when it releases. All right. I, ma I made this part, I made this part before Portable came out and it had its controversy. So, um, you see, Atlas is a big company. Big companies have a lot of money. Now, the background art in Portable was scaled for the PSP. This game was about to be displayed on massive fucking screens, meaning they had to upscale those backgrounds. Now, how would a very rich company do this? by using a free internet software called Waifu2x. 
when they saw this, they were like, holy shit, this is great. It's a, it's, it's a joke. And also, audio sounds like this. Here it goes. I'm gonna be honest here, I don't think they're gonna change anything. Maybe maybe they'll fix the audio somehow, but the art they won't they won't do shit. And you can't call it a remaster, it's a lazy port still. What I want you all to take away from this video is that Persona 3 is a very, very good game, but the port has flaws. I still want you all to try it out, but I want you to make an informed decision, because the port's flaws have to be pointed out. So what I recommend for you if you have a PC, emulate and mod FES. If you need help, I can give you a tutorial. If you have an Xbox, Switch or PlayStation, you should think about if paying 20 euro for a sloppy port is, is fine with you and your morals. Portable at its core, it's still very good, but maybe you should wait until the flaws are gone. Honestly. Alright, time for the story, let's go! In Persona 3, you play as a blue-haired emo guy. You arrive in Tatsumi Port Island live there after your parents died in a car crash. But on your way to the dorm where you live, you find out there's this thing called the dark hour. It appears every night between 12 and 1 am. When the clock strikes midnight, the dark hour appears and then it's 12 am even though an hour passes. You know what I'm saying? And during this time frame, all normal people turn into coffins and shadows roam the world. Shadows are these monsters. You'll find out what they are if you play the game. If you're fortunate enough to be awake, but unfortunate enough to not have any means of defending yourself against these shadows, you will get um visited. And after they're done with you, what remains of you will have what's called the Apathy Syndrome. Now, to defend yourself against them, you as the main character have the ability to call upon your persona, which is a manifestation of your personality. Not only can you call upon a persona, unlike normal persona users, you can change that persona by capturing new ones, but we'll get to that. How do you summon a persona? You shoot yourself in the head. It's a very edgy game. Also, the school you go to turns into this mysterious dungeon called Taurus. It's a massive tower with many, many floors that you must grind through. But you're not alone. You have this school club called Seas, which is led by Jesus, apparently. Together, you must go up the tower to find out what the hell is on the top. But that's all I'm gonna say about the story because now it's time for gameplay. As I said before, Persona 3 invented the modern Persona series. But it's also old. You have to overlook its flaws. Tartarus is a very big aspect of the game. And I'm gonna be honest here, this is one of the most tedious, mind-numbing, boring things that I have ever experienced in my life. And I played No Man's Sky on release. The problem is, each floor is randomly generated, but aside from the wallpaper, Nothing changes with each level. You'll go through the same set of rooms over 200 times. Back to overworld gameplay. The game has something called reverse social links and broken social links. If you're familiar with Persona games, you already know what these are. If not, we're gonna come to social links in a second. You see, if you neglect the characters that you hang out with, they'll get mad, just like in real life, and their social link will reverse. You won't be able to progress their social link, and you have to seek them out and reconcile with them. This also happens if you pick the wrong dialogue choice. Just like in real life. If you call someone a prick, they're not gonna wanna hang out with you. It's also possible to break a link from wrong choices. If that happens, you will not be able to call upon or fuse a persona of that arcana. Also in FES and as the male in Portable, you will not be able to refuse to date a girl social link. Meaning if you don't want to be a cheater, the only thing you can do is Roman's one social link. The rest, no. I'm just gonna put all the social links that you can Roman's on screen. You cannot hang out with any of them because you can't turn them down. Except if you're fancy, you can turn down the guys. Back to social links. Each social link has a arcana. The more you level the link up, the stronger the persona fusions of that arcana become. You can also unlock special personas. If a link breaks, you can unbreak it by reconciling to 
to reconcile, you have to find the person somewhere on the map, they will not be on their usual spot because they're avoiding you, then you have to hang out with them, say the right things, and you're good, hopefully. If you finish a social link, it becomes locked, and you cannot break or reverse it, it's done, never talk to your girlfriend again. Also, I wanna say some more things about Tartarus. Your goal in this dungeon is to reach the top floor. You do this by running through these randomly generated rooms, finding the stairs and going up. After some time, you're gonna come across a mini-boss. You have to fight two of these, then reach a barrier, preventing you from moving to the next block. The tower is segmented in multiple blocks. Once you reach the barrier, you're gonna have to wait until the next full moon where an event will trigger. This event is basically a big boss fight. There are these big ass shadows that you have to fight to stop the dark hour from existing. Now, for Tartarus, my advice is that you should level up until you can comfortably reach the next barrier and then a few more levels just in case. If you die in Tartarus, you get booted straight back to the main menu and you have to reload the last save. If you grind it for 4 hours, then get killed like an idiot, like I did, all the progress will be gone and you're gonna be hurt. A lot. It's fine to take breaks from Tartarus, but always remember, the Love Hotel's shadow is waiting, it will not wait forever. Originally, I planned for this video to be covering all games, but the Persona 3 segment just became so long. I wanna give some quick personal thoughts before ending the video though. I really like this game, I think it has the best story. I really do think that, despite how old, hard and archaic it is, it's not even that old, it's like 20 years, not even 20 years, it's not that bad, it's old but not that bad. If you played Persona before, or a complete newcomer, I think 3 is a perfectly fine game to play or start the series with. Give it a try, you're not gonna regret it. There's still many many things that I could talk about, like how Femsi is much more happier in her dialogue choices than the male MC, or how the people that you romanced as MC can comment on what you're writing in Tartarus. There's just so much stuff to this game, but I, 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 there's also so many, there's so many things, but it's best if you just experience them for yourself. This game is wonderful, and you should play it. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Well, I'll hopefully see you all around when I make a Persona 4 or 5 video. See ya!